you. We are here at the Stockholm World Water Week. Can you yes. please show us your badge and tell us who you are? There you go. Mm -hmm. So. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. Uh, who are you? Okay. Okay. I'm Anjal Prakash and uh -huh. I work with uh, Saki Waters, a South Asia consortium for interdisciplinary water resource studies. It's based in Hyderabad in South India. Okay. And we work in uh, uh, city, uh, cities and countries of South Asia, that is India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan and Bhutan. And uh, we work on the issues of uh, water, uh, but more on kind of uh, issues uh, in which, uh, uh, you know, the South Asia is uh, quite a conflict-driven uh, uh, you know, con uh, country is there because there are a lot of uh, issues around borders and uh, especially between India and Pakistan. Uh, but water knows no boundaries. You know? So true. so we're trying to work it out in a tractory diplomacy format in which we uh, meet professionals in South Asia uh, on the issues of water and try to see that uh, we have some consensus uh, when it comes to issues of water. Okay, and uh, do you take this to projects? Uh... Yeah, at the moment we are, uh, uh, what brings me here is that we have a project uh, uh, called Perium and Water Security in South Asia. Your mm -hmm. country, uh, we are working in uh, uh, three uh, countries and four research sites. Uh, we are looking at how urbanization is impacting on water resources, especially for peri-urban locations, because peri-urban locations are the locations which is on the fringes of cities, mm -hmm. and slowly the cities are growing, and uh, they are growing in quite a number in South Asia. Uh, so uh, how it is impinging on on the uh, or security of people who are living on the fringes, mm -hmm. and uh, this what are the interrelations of this, uh, and uh, uh, we are also looking at in the, uh, this in from the issues of climate change because. Uh, as the climate change uh, are coming very near to us in the sense that we are trying, uh, we are seeing the impact of climate change on a daily basis. How uh, are you seeing it? Uh, see, there's a lot of microclimate that is changing, you know, this whole oh. urban heat island effects that's happening. Yeah. And that is impinging on uh, a very uh, 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 kind of a, a insecure climatic uh, situations, especially uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, a kind of a microclimate changes. Mm -hmm. uh, and that impinges on a kind of a low, low rainfall or excess rainfall, those kind of uh, issues and drought in some areas and all that stuff. But more than that, actually, it's also related with the, with the issue of how we manage water. In, uh, in urbanization context. Uh, see more and more cities that you see in South Asia, we are working in uh, three countries as I said, uh, India, Nepal and Bangladesh. In India we are working in two cities, Hyderabad and Gurgaon which is a satellite town uh, close to New Delhi which has expanded quite well mm -hmm. in the last uh, 15 years. Okay. Uh, and Hyderabad is another town which is about 4 million plus population uh, of the core of the city and then if you look at other surrounding areas about 6 million people. Uh, so, and this is city also expanded because of the uh, post-liberalization uh, efforts in India where you know, markets have opened up and a lot of new people have joined and it's a hub for IT countries. Mm -hmm. But the new and new projects, the new and new uh, uh, situations in which uh, people are coming to the cities are bringing, uh, there's no uh, s uh, s uh, source for water, uh, kind okay. of a, a sustainable source of water. So we are getting uh, uh, outside and fetching water or we are relying on groundwater. Uh, and these water which is coming f is basically from the peri urban areas. And similar situation as you may see in uh, uh, a city in Khulna, which is in Bangladesh, which is uh, one of the climate hotspots, mm -hmm. and um, that is on the Ganga Delta. And uh, <coughs> uh, we find that there are a lot of uh, uh, you know salinity increase that is happening uh, because of uh, the changes in climate, sea level rise, and that is impinging on lives of the people, especially the poor, marginalized, and the women. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>